Hey guys, welcome to day 139. Sorry for the late post, but things have been happening around here. I've got a lot of um, updates. Well, maybe not a lot of updates, but definitely some big updates. So you guys remember I've been talking about um, how we're getting ready to do a lot more um, filming in um, not only my normal filming, but it, like here for this channel for, for Josh's weight loss diary. So my carnivore journey we're fixing to do even more stuff and you won't see this studio background. Um, I don't think I'm going to set up the new studio you know, background like this, but um, we may do green screen for a while um, as we build the new studio or as the new studio gets worked on. But um, I was telling you guys I'm moving and maybe I didn't mention I was moving, but um, one of the things like, you know, I just, I had to wait and now I know that for sure I'm going to be moving and it's going to be, um, I'm starting to the process of moving tomorrow, but as far as the computer and everything, I've got to get the internet set up at the new house. Um, I'm going to call Monday morning. I don't know when they'll get me, uh, my new, the new internet installed, but I already have power and water and everything at the new place. I've just got to get internet. So then I can, once that happens, I'll move my computer and everything over, get hooked up to the internet and then pretty much just go from there. You know what I mean? So, uh, try to get back up and running and, and I hope I don't miss any vlogs. If I miss a day because of moving or, or whatnot, I will make it up and, and obviously vlog for the day I missed up. So that way you guys can still, you know, know what I ate and you know, all that stuff like I've done before. Um, but yeah, guys, so it's exciting in that sense. Um, I am going to be moving. So pretty soon I will be coming to you from a new location and we will have some different backgrounds, but not only that, we are going to be doing some different style of content as well, because I am going to be doing, I'm going to do some more cooking stuff where I'm going to, um, I'm going to sort of do a better job at filming like the one pound, uh, burger. The one pounder, Josh is one pounder. If you want to call it that, that's kind of my, my thing, right? The Jop burger, Josh is one pounder. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with something, right? Um, but the, uh, but the one pounder, um, I'm going to do that. I'm, and of course I had my one pounder tonight. Here's a, here's a picture right here. And yeah, you can see guys, it, it just came out beautiful. Um, so delicious. Today, I did not put butter, so what I did for today's burger was salt, pepper, garlic, onion. I did use a little bit of pepper, but again, I did use the garlic and onion. I reduced down to like a teaspoon, and there was an egg, of course, in there. Hand mixed it all up. I didn't do any Tabasco or anything like I used to. I've been staying away from the Tabasco, adding that in. And then when I put it on the grill... I flattened it out and then I put bacon grease on the one side like I used to. And then, so I went back to that, put some bacon, cause I got some more bacon grease. Cause remember the bacon last night? <laughs> so I had some like fresh bacon grease that, that was really tasty. So I put that on. And then after the six minutes, I flipped it and I put another two, like two teaspoons or two, well, two spoons, probably tablespoons of grease and smeared it around on the backside and let it cook a little bit and come up to the last bit of temperature. So, but I'm going to do like an official video where I'm going to show you guys, um, four different style of burgers, um, for different people. So hopefully that'll help you guys out as well, depending on what style of burger you like, where you are in your journey and things like that. But I'm going to do some cooking type videos. I'm also going to do some carnivore um, review. Like I'm going to uh, recreate some carnivore uh, dishes that are out there and give you guys my opinion. And I'm going to probably rate them. I'm going to, I think I'm going to, I, I really want to kind of rate some of these carnivore recipes on obviously sort of like ease of ingredients, whether they're easy to make, um, like how, how hard was it for me to make? Um, and then like overall, like what's the taste? Like, is it worth it? You know? And I, I kind of want to give you guys a realistic take. Like, I don't want to pull no punches and I'm sorry for all my carnivore chef friends out there. If, 
if it's not going to be good to me, then I'm going to say it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Um, because I'm not trying to score any points out there. I just want to help people. And and it's like, hey, the, the better we can help people. Um, and of course, as you guys know, I, um, I'm working on another big project. I will be releasing that soon. It's just that, in all honesty, guys, with all the stuff that's been going on in my life, um, and now that I'm moving and things like that, like you guys will understand, like I kept telling you, you will understand why it's been harder for me to do even more content or more than just be sitting here for, for 10 minutes or whatever. But I got more coming real soon. Real soon we'll be doing some new stuff. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited. And I hope you guys are excited. I hope you're going to stick around. Um, and again, it's good hearing from you guys in the comments. You guys are keeping me going while I've been going through a lot of, of, of stress. Um, you guys have been family to me. That's why I tell you guys, Hey, I love you guys. So like all you guys out there that interact with me and that encourage me, you know, I have love for you guys and I consider you guys family. That's why when I get new subscribers and things like that, I try to tell you, Hey, welcome to the family. Like when I get first time commenters and stuff, I want to tell you that because that's how I feel like, Hey, you know, um, and, and I'm here for you. If you're out there and you're watching this and you're struggling with something, I've had a few people struggling recently. Let me know. Like I can give you my advice, try to, you know, review like what you're, what you're doing and see if there's anything I can tell you. I'm not a doctor, you know, first and foremost, if you're having any major issues, obviously go to a doctor, you know, carnivore may not be right for everybody. Um, but it could just be a simple part of it because people may be trying to do like B, 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 and E, and maybe they have some kind of reaction to bacon or eggs or something. I, God forbid a reaction to meat. I think some people feel like they're reactive to meat. I don't think that's, that's true for, for most people. Um, only because meat is so good and, and it's like part of our natural diet. Um, I can't imagine the the human body rejecting meat like that. Um, but if you if you do, then you know I'm I'm sorry. But um, but that's also why you should work with some doctors. And if you have a doctor that just like absolutely makes you feel um, worthless for being on the carnivore diet, then get a new doctor. You know, seriously. I mean, that that's bottom line. Like, you know, you should have a doctor that, you know, you guys can communicate and he's going to work with you, you know, and most doctors, if they're being honest, they're going to, they're going to utilize the carnivore diet and they're going to see how you do. And they're going to, you know, back you up and they're going to tell you their opinions and you can just say, okay, I appreciate that. But I've also been informed, <laughs> you know, but, um, but anyways, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this update. So let me kind of cover everything um, that I did today. Um, I do apologize. Like I said, I'm sorry about that. It was a little bit of a, a late night. Um, uh, lunch wise, I snagged. Um, I might as well just say a dozen, even though it might have been a little less like pepperonis. They were in the fridge. Um I was busy today and I just snagged some of those snacked on those around two, three o'clock about the normal time. Uh, I seem to, my body seems to be sort of regular around that two, three o'clock. Like it seems like it just wants to eat something. So I listen to my, my body. Like there's no reason to make yourself uncomfortable. If your body's like, man, I really want to eat something. Now, if it's like in the morning and, I'm kind of hungry or something in the morning. Like I just ignore that. Like it's not uncomfortable, but it's when it gets like, Ooh, man, I really want to eat something. Then eat something. That's your brain saying, Hey, I really want something. So do it. So I had some pepperonis. I had that available. Um, it was quick and easy. Had that. And then for dinner, like I said, my one pound burger, my one pounder was back after a couple days of eggs and bacon. It was nice to, be able to to scarf down a pound of meat and I got to the very end and the last couple of bites you know were harder to swallow but I got them down and I'm done I was done I'm full and satisfied I'm a happy boy <laughs> happy boy um anyways guys 
I will see you tomorrow. Day 140. Holy crap. Holy crap. 140. Um, tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow I should be around because I'm not moving my computer yet. Um, so I should be able to do everything tomorrow. I'm still sleeping at the this house. There's a lot to move from this house. Like I'm just starting tomorrow, but it's not going to happen overnight. As far as when I move over to sleep and do that, it's really, I want to get the internet set up for sure. Cause I really don't want to go over there, spend the night and like not have internet. Like, I mean, I probably could use my phone because it's in the city or like, a you know, it's in town, so to speak. Um, but we'll just see, but it's going to be happening over the next few days. And I will be, you know, I'm trying not to let it disrupt, you know, your guys's like this vlog and your guys's ability to watch this and watch this on a regular basis. So, but guys, 140, man, 10 days away from like our 30 day checkpoint in chapter two. Remember, chapter two is the 90 days. That's day 91 through 180. Like that's the, you know, we already did the first 90 days and that yielded great results. And now we're seeing some more results as of that last, that 120 day check in. Now at day 150 coming up. We're going to do some more measurements. We're going to do the weigh-in, see where our progress is going, and we're going to look at our goals. Uh, my goal was um, 265, remember? but And that was supposed to be for day 180. But then we hit 263, like, secretively, just, re, you know, like a week or so ago. So now we'll, well, you know, we'll weigh in. We'll just see where we're at. And, and I think the new goal for day 180 was 250. So we're just going to see where we're at. I don't feel like I've dropped a lot. Um, I think all my clothes seem to be fitting close to the same. It's just hard to say, to tell sometimes. So I'm just trying to be patient. But anyways, all right, guys, we'll talk. We'll talk with you guys later. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.